What's up everybody, it's Graphic Phoenix back with another video today and we're back in the kitchen. Today we are going to be making wet cricket gut load, for crickets obviously, just because those little shitty green cubes that come in the cricket tubs that you buy, if you buy from like a pet store or something, believe it or not, aren't the best gut load. I currently make my own, I know you can buy some from stores, the dry stuff, this will be wet. And all you're going to need is a blender, which this is called a Ninja. I don't know how good it is. This will be my first time using it. Uh, you're going to need some ice cube trays. And the ingredients we have for the Cricut Gut Load is there's some Swiss chard in here. There's some kale. Um, there's some arugula. I believe there's some beet greens. I just kind of grabbed random greens from the fridge. And here they are. <laughs> uh, you're going to need an apple. Of course, you're going to want to wash this first. I have a carrot here as well. I have a yam. A yam. I have an orange. I have wheat bran. And I have oat bran. Now, a couple things you could add is like collard greens. You could add mustard greens. You could add dandelions. Um, you could add... Sweet potato, you could do squash, you could do all that kind of stuff in here. Unfortunately, I don't have any sweet potato or squash or the greens, but uh, I'm making do with what I can find around and not have to drive anywhere because we have like four feet of snow and I don't have my winter tires on. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get to the construction of this. Essentially, all I'm going to do is throw this all in the blender, cut this up a little bit, cut the carrot up a little bit, unpeel the orange, wash this, cut that probably in half, I don't need that much sweet potato, or I mean yam, and then add eh, two, maybe three tablespoons of each of those. Alright, here we go. Now that you guys saw me cutting that up, let's put it in the blender and see what happens. So it's about to get very loud because I have a feeling this thing is going to be absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to add some water in there and you might see me open it up and add a little bit more. But I'll show you the consistency that I like near the end and we'll go from there. I'm actually going to be setting up my crickets as well so I can show you the results of fresh made stuff with hungry crickets. Alright, let's get started. You can kind of see how much water I added right here. See that line there? That's whole water. So we'll see how that turns out. There she is. So now I'm going to put it into the cubes and I'm going to take a little bit out just for the crickets to eat. So I'm going to go grab the container and we'll get started. I'll show you a couple fillings of the ice cubes and then uh, I'm just going to do the rest on my own time. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to start filling these up. I'll do probably 
I don't know, as many are on screen here, so probably about five. Uh, and then you guys can see exactly how I fill them. Then all you really need to do, toss these in the freezer for six hours, something like that, till they're frozen. And then uh, get a freezer bag, toss them in there, and they'll be good for probably six, six months. So there you guys go, I think you guys get the point. You just gotta fill them up and toss them in the freezer. And these are cheap, like one dollar crappy ice cube trays from Walmart or wherever, dollar store, I don't care. That's all you really need. Anyways guys, I'm just gonna update you right before I start uploading this video on what the crickets have done as of right now. You can kinda see them over there. I know they're not normally in my kitchen. But you can see them chowing down, going ham. So, it certainly does work and they certainly do like it. And it is more nutritious for your reptile. Alright guys, so coming back with you the next morning. Well, it's the next night, but they haven't eaten any since this morning because it's all gone. So, you saw how full that was yesterday. And I only put 200 crickets in here. And that's what's left. So, I mean, you tell me. It's really whatever you guys like. I mean, I think that stuff works phenomenally. So, I use it and I make it. But if you guys have any modifications, certainly let me know in the comments down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe if you did like it, and want to see more things in the future. Drop a comment down below on what you thought of this video and what you think I could make for my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Out of here.